This empty lot is the site for the development of a new rec center and pool in the town of Aldergrove, a pool that has been met with a surprisingly large amount of controversy. On Saturday, April 2nd, members of the pool protest committee held their protest against the decision to have an outdoor pool with an overhead canopy. The purpose of the protest was to inform the residents of Aldergrove of this new change and the fact that they are not getting what was originally proposed back in 2012. And I thought that the people really had something to say about that and they need, just needed a place to at, le at the very least be educated about it, that it was never going to be an option to close it in. Alice and her group are protesting against the decision for the new Aldergrove pool to be an outdoor pool. The protest petition garnered over 200 signatures. I was absolutely blown away and amazed. Aldergrove is a very tight-knit community and very supportive. It is their wish to have the pool be an indoor pool just like the original plan from 2012. This decision was still in motion as of 2014, according to this message from Mayor Jack Froze. One of the visions that I've always had while raising my family in Aldergrove was to get an indoor pool and a community center into Aldergrove. When questioned about the video statement, Mayor Froze defended his want for an indoor pool, but admitted that the plans had to change. I want an indoor pool. However, I didn't promise one. I said I'd work with the council to work towards it. But when we did all that work and it came back at a 50 to $60 million price tag, you know, reality gets pretty fast, but we can't do it. But then the plan was changed to an outdoor pool with an accompanying water park. And according to some town folk, the change came without warning or input from the community. And I think by the time everybody realized it, it had been passed. There was, before there was always a dialogue between the community and, and the council with regards to it. And I don't think that this was really um, flagged for what it was. According to Township Councillor Charlie Fox, the change came due to budgetary concerns. The original design was estimated at between 33 and $34 million and would have incorporated the decommissioned Aldergrove Elementary building. However, due to growing estimation costs as well as eventual servicing and road service costs, Council had to rethink their strategy. So actually a $35 million uh, physical plant is actually going to again approach $40 million. Well, we just don't have those resources at our disposal without going to a tax increase or into a deficit situation, which we, Council has very clearly told staff we're not willing to do. Council then came up with their alternative, which was an overhead canopy for the outdoor pool. I've always been in favor of the canopy because I think it does provide some weather shields. It's not a perfect solution under any means, but it's doable given the financial uh, wherewithal. This decision along with the changing estimation costs has gained much controversy as members of the pool protest committee and the former township mayor Rick Green state their concerns for the pool being open in the winter months. It, it, it almost defies any rationale or any reason. There is no way that pool will be used. I don't care how they heat the deck or anything else between October and April. People that uh, are seniors or small children are going to be freezing. They're not going to use the facility. I think people will be surprised at the end of the day with uh, what uh, possibilities exist. If we don't act now, the delays will further uh, complicate things and potentially put at risk the whole project. Nobody wants to take anything away from anybody, but can... It, if it's possible to tweak things so that we can have the opportunity to to enclose it. The big question now is whether or not the pool will be completed by its intended date of summer 2018. Township is hopeful that they will make this deadline, however this is a pool that has been delayed well over a decade. The pool protest committee will continue to fight for the original indoor pool that was proposed back in 2012, however the decision of whether it is an indoor or an outdoor pool ultimately comes down to council. And whether they are willing to listen or compensate for anything more than the outdoor canopy is up to them. If you want to learn more about the pool, you can check out the Township of Langley website. If you want to learn more about the story and the protest, you can check out the Aldergrove Star. This is Jeremy Hannaford reporting from the intended pool site in Aldergrove.